What's going on YouTube? This is Surya Dil Singh and welcome back to Cryolite Security. In this video, we'll be looking at a CVE from the GitLab. The CVE ID is CVE 20237028. This was a, a CVE or vulnerability found in the GitLab that allows an unauthorized user to get access to the admin user account. So, what is a GitLab? As you might be knowing about GitLab, it is a popular CI CD framework that is used in DevOps and DevSecOps. It allows us to pipeline the project with the other tools and helps in integration of the SDCL. So how does uh, how does this uh, CV or vulnerability work? So before that, uh, these are the version of the GitLab that are affected by this vulnerability. This vulnerability affect the community edition as well as the enterprise edition. So if your <coughs> GitLab is uh, in the range of this version, then it might be vulnerable to this CVE. So how does uh, this CVE work? So uh, this end uh, endpoint which is user's password if you try to send a post request to this this is uh, this API endpoint is responsible for the password reset uh, but uh, there is a flow in the code backend code that allows an user to send uh, two email instead of one email which is not properly checked at the backend code that allows an attacker to inject a uh, malicious UR uh, email along with the legitimate email such that the, uh, the password reset token would be sent to the both both the email so <clears throat> that's how this vulnerability works at a high level overview but uh, for sending the password reset uh, request uh, post request to this API endpoint we need an authentic authenticity token which is just like a CSRF token for uh, checking that the requests are coming from the uh, valid address or not uh, so, uh, uh, we just have to manipulate the email field by sending the two emails. So, and these are the recent changes to their repository. As you can see, uh, the, this was the change uh, related to the email that we will be exploiting. So, uh, let's start with the video. How we it going to exploit this? I already started the machine. Uh, we got the IP over here. So, I'll jump over to my Kali machine. Okay, so uh, before exploiting, uh, uh, let's uh, first set up uh, uh, this host uh, domain name to our etc host uh, file. So this IP is mapped to the domain name called gitlab.thm so that we can access uh, the gitlab web application via the domain name now let's try to access the gitlab from the browser As you can see, we can access the GitLab uh, from our browser. So <coughs> we are being given with the with the email uh, email server, mail server, a username and password. The mail server that uh, they are using here is Rainloop. It's a lightweight mail server. So <coughs> here is the POC uh, of uh, of that exploit. It basically obtained the CSRF token first, and then tried to inject our uh, malicious email along with the legiti legitimate email and uh, get the password reset uh, get the password reset uh, token and then try to reset the password using that token so now we'll try to utilize the POC to exploit the password reset functionality so I'll go to my desktop and uh, there is a uh, there it is and the GitLab exploit so we we can specify the attacker's email this would be our email address and this would be the victim email address so we'll be sending both along with the CSRF token that will be extracted out via this script which is an authenticity token and this would be the URL of the Git uh, where the GitLab is installed so we'll start off with this and uh, try to reset the password 
of, of the account. As you can see, uh, we we got an authenticity token. Here we have the authenticity token and uh, sending reset password request. Email has been sent to the victim dot gitlab dot dot uh, thm and attacker both email uh, the password uh, emails is sent for the password reset so we can access the email from the mail server that we that that is deployed on this machine we can access it via this uh, url As you can see, uh, we first have to log into the mail server. This would be the attacker email address and password. As you can see, we got a mail request for reset password. And uh, when we try to <coughs> And we try when we try to reset the password uh, it will allow us to change the password of the victim account so let's say keep it to password at the rate one two three and same for this password at the rate one two three and now let's try to change the password and as you can see the password has been successfully changed so now we can log into the victim account we can log into this using the new password that we have set password at the rate 123 and as you can see we are able to log into the gitlab of the victim user account using the authenticity token uh, and uh, the password reset vulnerability where it is not checking the number of email address that are being sent so an attacker can utilize this functionality by sending more than one email address and thus potentially hijacking the GitLab user account. So what are the mitigation to that? There has been a recent update to the GitLab. Try to upgrade your GitLab uh, to the latest version. These are the recent uh, recent commits over the uh, repository. So try to use the latest version. So that's it in this video. And if you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and we'll see you in the next.